It's a beautiful pecan bottom lining the edges of the San Saba River. Beautiful, clean water flowing in Menard County. In Menard County, it's become somewhat of a yearly tradition. The fragile, fluttering brilliance of familiar black and gold. Thousands of monarch butterflies have returned to the banks of the San Saba River, a time when landowners, photographers, and butterfly experts roam the riverbanks and ranch land to get a close-up glance at the legendary monarch. I got started when I was seven and I had a second grade teacher who told us about a huge giant playground full of monarch butterflies. And I always thought to myself, I want to see that someday. So we're going to put 088 right here on that baby. Okay. Give it to you to hold there. Jenny Singleton and Monica Makel lead this afternoon effort to gently capture adult monarch butterflies to tag, register, and be released to continue their mysterious mystical migration thousands of miles into Mexico. The best place to see monarch butterflies in the entire United States is right here because they're going to come down and nectar on those flowers to fatten up for, the, for their winter roosting. How far do the monarchs travel? They've had tagged monarchs come from uh, Toronto and Montreal found in El Rosario, the middle of Mexico. 2,800 miles. 2,800 miles, and these monarchs have never been there before. That's right. That's the other really- How do they know? It's a really magical thing we don't understand yet. They think it's sun cues, they think it's pheromones, they don't really know for sure. Something that scientists continue to study. It's just really hard to believe that this magical thing happens. In a way, we're in the presence of Texas butterfly royalty. Jenny and Monica are what you might call the matron saints of monarchs. Years ago, Jenny started a festival to celebrate the monarchs near her home outside Grapevine, a time when hundreds of people gather to honor the colorful migration. Our festival's been going on, this is the 22nd year. It started out small, and this year is 22nd time. We've tagged butterflies ahead of time and handed them out to the children and let them all let them go. And you know, you see the magic in 250 faces yeah. right then. I have the, the Monarch Butterfly and Pollinator Festival in San Antonio, which we started in 2016, which was inspired by Jenny's festival, the Flutterby Festival Grapevine. But I mean, if it wasn't for these guys, I would have had to like just totally wing it, which we kind of do anyway. <laughs> you wing it. <laughs> yeah, we you wing, wing it. it. Yeah. Well, I want to go check out this little grove right here. There's a lot of cowpen daisies under the mesquite, and it looks like kind of a fertile patch for monarchs. Every time you catch a monarch in your net, there's got to be some feeling that goes through you. What is that? Yes. That's yes. the feeling that I get every time. Or when I see the first monarchs of the year, I, I just feel like, <sighs> It's going to be okay. They're, going to, they're back. It's going to be all right. There's a cow pan daisy, and you, and you see a butterfly on it, but you have to swoop and twist. Nice job. Jenny got it. <laughs> that happens. It happens. Easy come, easy go. Sorry about that, folks. I did that yesterday, too. Sorry. Oh, well. We'll get another one. <laughs> There's more butterflies where that came from. That's right. That's the good news. We're having a really good year this year. In 2008, we tagged a thousand monarchs along the San Saba River. February of 2009, I got to visit the sanctuaries in El Rosario, where I went up to a young man who was selling tags and gave him 20 bucks and got five tags and looked at him and went, this looks really familiar, and came home and discovered it was one of the tags that we had put on the butterfly. Get out, really? That I happened? never told you that. I never heard that story. Yeah, great story. I, everybody yes. wants that to happen. You go down to meet to a con yeah, and you get the, actually, you I know. Maybe it's one of mine, so and you go check your dad, and it's like, darn, I've, had, I, I've done that before. Almost lighter than air, a subtle, silent rise skyward, and in a matter of seconds, the monarch reminds us 
that nature seems to guard its most curious miracle, a migration that spans thousands of miles and thousands of years. For a brief moment, this riverbank outside Menard is a rest stop on a treacherous journey. Okay, here we go. In a way, Jenny Singleton and Monica Makel are the wind and the wings to a movement across Texas honoring this magical migration. It's almost like you cut in on some nature dance where you cut in for a moment and got to experience the beauty of this creature and then you like let it go back and do its thing. We just had that one moment of magic. They shared it with you and yeah. let you be a part of their world for just a minute before you let it go. Yeah. 